Hi guys and gals, it's John and Emily from AFK Books and Records in beautiful Virginia Beach, Virginia. And uh, we got a double shot of Greta to kick things off today. We're gonna kick it off first with Greta Gerwig's Barbie the Album, featuring new tracks from an unprecedented lineup of artists, including Billie Eilish, Nicki Minaj, and Ice Spice, Lizzo, Carol G, Charlie XCX, Pink Pantherist, Ava Max, Dominique Fike, Khalid? Khalid. Khalid, thank you very much, Emily. There's too many Khalids and Khalids. I just never know what to do. The Kid Leroy, Tame Impala, Haim, and Gail. Uh, Barbie star Ryan Gosling also joins the robust roster of soundtrack artists with his iconic original song performed as his character, Ken. On hot pink vinyl with a 20, 12 by 24 poster, Indie Exclusive includes a colorful printed PVC sleeve. Look at that. So, and those are limited. I only have a few more of that flavor left. Uh, we also have a limited edition CD available, which is the only physical version, which includes the K-pop track from the band 5050. It's the only way you can get it, right now at least. So if you want one of those, also let us know. We have a few posters left over from the event, so we can set you up if you didn't get one of those. But message us or call us if you want to reserve any of this cool stuff. Next we have more Greta, but this time the Van Fleet variety. Starcatcher, the third album from the acclaimed rockers, was recorded at RCA Studios in Nashville. The Grammy award-winning band consists of, consists of three brothers from Michigan. They have performed across multiple continents, sold over 3.5 million records, and 1 million tickets worldwide. Available in clear or limited edition in exclusive milky translucent glitter or we've got the CD. Nice. This is the clear version. This this is, is you can't really tell, but that's the indie one. Uh, the CD we are temporarily out of. we got more of those coming in uh, hopefully early next week. Thank you, by the way, for coming out for both of those listening events. Yep. We had two back-to-back, -back, Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, crazy Barbie energy and crazy Greta energy. We turned off all the lights last night and got three things of incense going. And yeah, it was it was it was, it was pretty cool. Uh, next up, we got Blur, The Ballad of Darren. I love Blur. According to Pitchfork, the Brit pop icons contemplate middle age, turbulence, and inertia. This is a meticulously polished reunion album on limited edition Sky Blue. We also have a CD for this Somewhere. available right now. Somewhere here. Oh, it's over there. It's over there. It. Hi, CD. <laughs> Next up is Molly Tuttle, Golden Highway. Oh, sorry, Molly Tuttle and Golden Highway, City of Gold. This release follows her acclaimed 2022 record, Crooked Tree, which won Best Bluegrass Album at the Grammys and led to NPR calling her a female flat picker extraordinaire with agility, speed, and elegance who distinctly brings American roots music into the spotlight. Adding that the album marries the improvisatory solos of traditional bluegrass with singer-songwriter sophistication, flavored in regular and indie exclusive on light blue. There's that version right here. Yeah, we heard she just played Elevation uh, 27 and just killed it. Nice. So super cool. I'm sorry I missed that. I didn't know her then. Now I know her. Now I would definitely go. Uh, Rick Springfield, Working Class Dog, the 40th anniversary special live edition includes a ton of cool stuff and a really sweet collector's box and some stuff that's not in the box, but you also get with the box. Uh, you get a random colored LP, a DVD featuring behind the scenes footage, all the live performances, plus four bonus songs, plus a rarity CD, including demos, bonus live tracks, and multiple versions of Jesse's Girl. Because really, you can't have too many versions of Jesse's Girl. What a great song. But wait, there's more. You also get a replica laminate pass, a tour book, and a signed and numbered card from Mr. Springfield himself. Um, wow. That's what we've got. So cool. There he is. Nice bougie box with a little box. Uh, very cool. Play along with the charade. There you go. There you go. You can see all the change you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sweet. Springfield. <laughs> Next up we have Mad Lib, Rock Conductor Part 1. The fifth installment in the Beat Conductor series grabs its source material from various worldwide rock scenes from the 60s through the 80s, from American psychedelia to Germany's krautrock to acid-soaked Spanish prog to synth the early 80s oddities. Tied together by Mad Lib's unique sensibility, these scenes coalesce into a whole into a new whole, pressed to order on clear vinyl from RSD Essentials. <laughs> nice. All right, here we go. Speaking of 
that's potentially offensive things. Uh, Saul Williams, <laughs> Martyr Loser King. Uh, the actor, poet, and activist at Fifth Studio release is a thinly veiled concept album carved from the tales of its main character, a computer hacker living in Burundi. This album unapologetically confronts a bevy of timely issues from economic disparity and police brutality to issues of privacy in the digital age. This is on a red galaxy wax and pressed by our fine friends at RSD Essentials. Saul Williams. Next we have more Saul Williams, RSD Essentials, The Inevitable Rise. His third studio album, produced by Trent Reznor, features appearances by Reznor himself, CX Kid Tronic, Thavius Beck, and more, and it's on Galaxy Cat's Eye Limited Edition. And it's um, Limited Rise Redacted, right? Or what, yeah, what is it? Yeah, it's, it's redacted. redacted. It's redacted, so, like we said. We got Illa J, Yancey Boys, the younger brother of the late great genius producer James Yancey's debut release features rhyming and singing over a treasure trove of previously untouched JD Dem <laughs> gems. Here we go, I can speak. Uh, the project represents both a full circle collaboration and a whole new beginning in the story of the musically exceptional Yancey Brothers on Coke Bottle Clear. Listen, we're tired. We're we always say this. But we've done We're, two listening events this week. We've gotten like 30,000 buybacks. You can hear the tiny violins right now. Our Mo brains Molly Tuttle's playing them for us. But we have. We just bought another, what, 600? So about 600 like, CDs primo, today. Primo, pre-enjoyed CDs today. And we, st I mean, CDs, like, all it took was for me to go and buy like $3,000 worth of new CDs yep. for someone to bring us 3,000 used CDs. So, yep. I mean, we're not complaining. This is the business yep. we do, but I we're mean, just come on, why our brains come are on. Slightly broken. Yeah, we, we just, can't speak we can't well even today. speak. We're like crawling across the floor, y'all. So, anyway, back to our re up, regularly scheduled program. Oliver Tree, Ugly is Beautiful. The RAA Gold chart topping debut album is available now on exclusive clear vinyl as part of the Atlantic 75th anniversary campaign. Upon its release in July 2020, the album immediately rocketed to number one on Billboard's Top Rock Albums and Top Alternative Albums charts, while also debuting among the top 15 overall SoundScan Billboard 200. Uh, next, we got John Lee Hooker and Seven Nights, recorded in London in 1964 and released by the Verve Folkways label the following year. This album features Hooker playing with the British band The Groundhogs, reissued for the very first time and pressed on 180G. Hooker. Next up is Jim Croce, Life and Times. This reissue of the 1973 studio album that reached the top 10 and is certified gold features the gold number one single, Bad Bad Leroy Brown. Baddest man in the whole damn town. Plus the hit One Less Meaner Than the Junkyard steps. Dog. This limited 180 gram reissue celebrates the album's 50th anniversary along with what would have been his 80th birthday this year. Finger 11, Greatest Hits. Spanning over two decades, the new Greatest Hits collection highlights the band's diverse range with fan favorites, including multi-platinum hit Paralyzer and Juno-nominated One Thing, plus chart harpers like Fallen On and Living in a Dream. As a bonus, the 12-track set also features a previously unreleased cover of Pink Floyd's Welcome to the Machine, a longtime live staple, as well as a brand new single, Together Right, on limited edition indie exclusive Yellow Marble. Finger 11. Next is Fish, Fuego, their 13th studio album originally released in 2014. This spontaneous combustion edition comes pressed on orange flame. Boom! Next up, Buddy Rich, Birdland, a special edition of exclusive tracks recorded by band member and engineer Alan Glauben at the peak of Buddy's career in the mid-1970s. Featured in the Oscar-winning film Whiplash, this album is a must-have for longtime fans and new aspiring drummers looking to study the sheer talent and wow factor that has made Buddy the greatest drummer of all time for decades. Uh, this is on red translucent 180 gram vinyl. I just feel like I should have a folding chair and I should throw it right now. Don't threaten me with a good time. Sounds fun. <laughs> Woo! Next up Bring is it. Lonnie Smith, Turning Point. This 1969 album features the organ virtuoso performing with a dynamic band. Highlights include covers of Seesaw and Eleanor Rigby, plus soulful originals. Blue Note Classic Vinyl Series is an all analog mastered by Kevin Gray from the original master tapes and pressed on 180 gram vinyl at Optimal. Whew. Next up, we got Ike Quebec, Heavy Soul, the aptly titled 1961 album, is a soul jazz masterclass with the tenor saxophonist joined by Freddie Roach, uh, no relation to Max Roach, we don't think, uh, Milt Hinton and Al 
hair would. Uh, Ike's robust horn conjures a variety of moods from up-tempo swingers to sultry slow-tempo stunners, closing with a spellbinding duo rendition of Nature Boy with Hinton. All analog, mastered by Kevin Gray from the original Master Tapes and pressed on 180 gram vinyl. Ike. Next, the Vandals. Hitler bad, Vandals good. The 25th anniversary pressing of the Orange County Punk Band's 1998 breakthrough rock classic on limited edition blue and white splatter. Bam. Uh, Muddy Waters, Muddy, Brass, and the Blues. The classic 1967 chess album adds horns and prominent organ to his basic band format. Waters' early work had been built around his returning to sounds and influences from his past. Here, the label tried to give him a new sound. Stripped of his guitar, Waters proves what a great R&B singer he was. First official American LP reissue in more than 30 years. Next up, we have Bella White, among other things. This 22-year-old singer-songwriter has, has a one-of-a-kind musical talent. A fine spun breed of country folk, both fresh in perspective and wholly steeped in bluegrass tradition, despite her upbringing in the Canadian city of Calgary. Her sophomore album unfolds with gorgeously textured layers encompassing elements of country, folk, indie, and classic rock. Limited edition, indie exclusive, Carnelian Brown and Red Swirl. Here's what Carnelian Brown looks like right here. Uh, at least you can check it because we sell this. So if you want to buy some Carnelian to go with your Carnelian Brown, AFK has got you covered with yeah. all the color matching. Uh, next up, we got Worms, Cut Worms. Uh, songwriter Max Clark's contemporary vision of American heritage rock and roll is both pristine and askew. He's been called a modern Buddy Holly and Everly Brothers, wow, that's a lot, while also being tagged as Lynchian. On his self-titled third album, we find Clark refining his craft down to its most crucial elements, produced and performed almost entirely by Clark himself on limited sea glass wave colored vinyl. Next up is Ornette Coleman. Something else! <laughs> Originally released in 1958 and recorded by legendary engineer Roy Doonan. His debut album introduced the world to his innovative style and features his band of Don Cherry, Walter Norris, Don Payne, and Billy Higgins. Contemporary Records Acoustic Sound Series features all analog mastering from the original taste of Bernie Graham and is pressed on 180 gram and a tip on jacket at QRP. Next up, The Temptations Sing Smokey. This is their second studio album from the Motown label, released in 1965. As its name implies, it is composed entirely of songs written and produced by Smokey Robinson and other members of the Miracles. It features the hit singles, The Way You Do, The Things You Do, It's Growing, and the group's signature song, My Girl. My Girl. Talking about Nina. My Girl. Nina Simone, you've got to learn. The 1966 Newport Jazz Festival's audience was treated to the full range of her artistry. From the opener, a breathtaking version of You've Gotta Learn, to a swing and take on Mississippi Goddamn. After the standing ovation, her fans were rewarded with a show-stopping encore, Music for Lovers. This previously unreleased recording makes it clear why hearing Nina in concert was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Indie exclusive bone vinyl. Man, this Molly Tuttle is so good. I'm ready to like start clogging and stuff. You ready for me to clog, folks? No. No. Okay. Uh, B.B. King, Indianola, Mississippi Seeds. His 18th studio album was released in 1970 on ABC Records, matched with an all-star cast of musicians, including pop luminaries such as Leon Russell, Joe Walsh, and Carole King. He mixed elements of blues and rock music, resulting in one of his most critically acclaimed albums. King himself considered it to be one of the greatest achievements. This is the first American vinyl reissue. Right there. King and King. Double King. Next up, Pink Floyd, Return to the Dark Side of the Moon. Ultra unique glow in the dark vinyl of this fantastic tribute. Features performances by Adrian Ballou from King Crimson, Robbie Krieger from The Doors, Colin Moulding from XTC, hey. Tommy Shaw from Styx, Rick Wakeman from Yes, John Wetton from Asia, award winning actor Malcolm McDowell from A Clockwork Orange, and, and Wing many... Commander. Wasn't he in Wing Commander? I don't Sean? know, but he was also I in. I think so. Wasn't he in Halloween? Wing Commander or one of those or one of those origin PC games? No, that was Donald Pleasance. Yeah. I think he was in the Halloween remakes. Uh. I don't know. Uh, produced by Billy Sherwood of Yes includes a bonus original composition by Sherwood, Where We Belong. Uh, next up, John Mellencamp, Orpheus Descending. With a career spanning over 40 years, this musician, artist, and activist 25th full-length studio album was recorded at his own Belmont Mall studio and produced by Mellencamp himself. Uh, this is one of his most personal works to date as he continues to show he's one of the best songwriters of his generation, Mellencamp. 
Next up is Miss Ego, a grand, eloquent, and somewhat mischievous release from the Jamaican-American artist who thrives on mixing contemplation with extroversion, smoldering romance with knowing humor, and studied musical discipline with exhilarating flights of intuition. Did you know that Miss Ego is a Bantu word for blessings? Did you know he attended ODU? You did, because we just told you last week. Probably, because we tell you all the time. Yeah. Uh, next up, Montel Fish, Jamie. Oh, this debut album is an intimate retelling of the paramount experiences of the artist's life and a welcome expansion of his crooning, velvety DIY sound. It highlights methodically crafted production, self-made instrumentation, and songwriting at its best, producing piercing, ouch, and sincere cuts that holistically tie in with his faith. Indie exclusive on cream. Montel Fish, Jamie. There you go. Ow, piercing. It's just, it's a painful record to listen to. It just, ah. Oh. That's rude. I mean, in a good way. <laughs> piercing like it, piercing like in a good way. Uh, is it anyway, a good way? I mean, I got my nose pierced. It <laughs> okay, was good. Right. It didn't hurt. Yeah. It didn't feel like anything. Next up, XXX Tentacion presents Members Only Volume 3. Members Only is a group he formed as he was still bubbling beneath the surface of the mainstream. The fe album features him. Ski Mask, The Slump God, Kid Trunks, Rob Banks, Craig Zen, Bay Santana, Flyboy Tarantino, Kid Soul, Kill Station, Coolie Cut, and Tank Head. <laughs> you gotta know the background of this one. Like, like Sean made notes for this, and he knew we had difficulty pronouncing his name. So he, he put, put it in like in 10 there. times. One, two, three, three. four, so, five, six. So she just tried to. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I just skipped yeah, them all. It's so <laughs> messed up. <laughs> I know how to this pronounce it. This is such a cool name. place. This is a piercing place. Um, we also got these really cool Lil Vert t-shirts, which we're going to raffle off. We're going to get this set up with a card. All you have to do is come in and fill out a slip. Bougie. And it feels like, yeah, canvas, like you could, I don't know, make a saddlebag out of it or something. It's really it's really nice if you got a horse and you need a saddlebag. We got a Lil Uzi Vert. It's a cool shirt. Um, also, we got a new local band right here, Prisoners of Love. And this is a handmade first edition copy of their debut album. It's really great. Listen to it. Uh, a lot of these kids are in Berkeley music and they're local and absolutely incredible. Check them out. I know they're on Spotify. I don't know if they're on Apple Music. Much better to come in and buy the C for, CD for 10 yeah. bucks, but check them out. Look at that. You've got hand drawn. Hand drawn. They are unreal. Check them out. Um, what else? So yeah, come in and see all the amazing CDs we've got. Yeah, we got a couple. We've got a lot, just a <laughs> few. We bought a ton of books today. We're gonna try to show you some of the amazing resocks. Um, anything else, Emily? Anything else, Sean? We all, we all good? I think we're good. So we hope to see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.